So tell me, what was it like before the community garden project started? What was the site like? Okay, well the site was just a few um, bushes against a wall and a piece of ground, something you would really take no notice of. Grass, trees, fantastic in themselves, but um, the garden certainly brought on a whole new dimension to that little triangle of, of earth. I think this area was very much underused. Why is it a good idea to have a community garden project? Well, why is it not a good idea? I have a garden myself, but it's quite solitary or, you know, maybe with one other person activity. But to be out with people who live in the area and getting to know them through gardening is really, really nice. It was somewhere we could have fun and somewhere we could grow something beautiful where there was nothing. Everybody should have a community garden in every area. It is actually the most bonding thing with the community. What's the best thing about the community garden? Well, the best thing is happening all the time because you can see things growing and changing. And that's good fun, especially when you don't have a garden. And um, strawberries. Ah. What do I like most about the garden project? Well, we had a residence uh, street party over the summer. And at it, uh, there was a competition to guess the size of the guest weight of the, the marrow that was grown in the garden. And I love the idea of a community garden growing vegetables to be consumed by the community. I just think it's absolutely amazing. And from different nationalities, they're coming together. And uh, that, that sharing, I, I, I enjoy the most from the community garden. What's the final message from the garden project? It's very enjoyable and um, we're looking for new volunteers. We garden every Saturday between 12 and 4. Just come along and join us.